Hello, Philomene. Hello, Magdi. Uh, I have a question. Who is meditating? <laughs> it depends what you mean by meditating, you see. Mm -hmm. So right now, for example, who is who is speaking? Yeah. Of course, there is a, a body mind named Philomene and a body mind named Magdi. There is a, a bio computer, there is a, an instrument, there is a medium. But what is it that is talking? Is it the bio computer that is talking? Or is it I in consciousness? So, meditation is being. It is the pureness of being, not being somebody, not being a woman born, mother, father, village, etc. No, that's the body mind. But meditation is being without being somebody. So then the question, what is it that is meditating? It is being that is meditating because being is meditation. So can I understand it as being resting in itself. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, being oh. resting in itself. Okay. And mm -hmm. sometimes being also engaging activity. Right now there is a conversation, so there is some activity, yes? But the activity of being that's also meditation. It's not just resting in itself, but it's resting in itself in the absence of movement, but it is also resting in itself within movement, as movement. Because conversation does not mean that being or awareness is compromised. No, not at all. The only thing that compromises being is the belief that I am a specific somebody. I am a specific entity. But in the absence of this belief that I am this particular body-mind entity, being is, and being in, mo in, mo in motion, and being in stillness. Being in stillness is when being is just resting in itself, in the absence of any activity. Being in motion is being resting in itself, in the midst of activity. So there's nothing without consciousness? Of course, nothing. Everything no, is nothing. consciousness is reality. It's the only reality. But believing that consciousness is personal and limited, and is dependent on the body-mind, or is in the brain, or a result of the brain, 
this belief creates the impression that I, consciousness, is a form, is a limited form, or is dependent on a form. It's what we refer to as consciousness veiling itself from itself via, mm. via identification. But yes, you are right. There is nothing which is not consciousness. Everything that you experience, everything that you experience, you experience as consciousness. You can watch a beautiful sunset, but if you remove consciousness, what is the sunset? You can remove the sunset. Consciousness remains. But if you remove consciousness, then what is the taste of a mango mm -hmm. without consciousness? So consciousness is the uninterrupted reality, the formless reality of your experience. It is the that which cannot not be. The taste of mango or the sunset can not be when you when the sun is finished setting there is no more sunset for now. But consciousness, awareness, being cannot not be. So you recognize within yourself that which cannot not be. It is not your body, your body of 12-year-old, 15-year-old, all of that is constantly changing. It is not your thoughts. Your thoughts, they come, they, they go. It is not your neighborhood. Maybe you've moved, you know. I, I have moved maybe 20 times in my life. My neighborhood changed a lot. It's not my tribe. Three quarters of my tribe are dead. What is it in your experience that cannot not be that which is and cannot not be. It is I, awareness, I, consciousness. I contemplate this. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs>